Whether you have a single nesting block or an entire warehouse full of bees, proper wintertime care of mason bee cocoons and their nesting material is essential for keeping healthy mason bee populations. And no matter if you use heavy duty machinery or a manual scraping tool for removing your bees from their holes, solitary beekeepers are often left wondering what is the best technique for cleaning cocoons to prepare them for hibernation. Here at Rent Mason Bees in Washington State, we start by giving our bees a bath. The cocoons are soaked in a bleach bath for about 15 to 20 minutes. With our large quantities, we use about a cup of bleach in a 20 gallon tub. The bleach is used to remove pests like pollen mites and chalk brood fungus that could be present on the cocoons. Much of the clay from the mud plugs left by the mother bees also washes off. After the bees have soaked, they are sifted onto a conveyor belt. They will travel underneath a series of hoses that will remove any remaining debris on the cocoons. As they move down the line, they will be guided underneath sponges that roll them around, ensuring they get cleaned from all angles. Once the bee cocoons get to the end of the line, they tumble onto a drying rack and are taken to the drying chamber where they will remain overnight under a fan. Once the bees are fully dried, they are taken to the light board station to be sorted and weighed. Any cocoon that allows light to penetrate through does not contain a viable bee. The empty cocoons and any remaining debris are removed and the bees are weighed. Batches of 5,000 cocoons, kept separate by the region in which they were grown, are weighed, labeled, and are now ready to be put into winter storage. The bees are placed in a walk-in refrigerator and the temperature is slowly lowered over the course of several weeks to around 36 degrees Fahrenheit to mimic the winter temperatures of the Pacific Northwest. Humidity levels are monitored to ensure the cocoons do not grow mold or dry out. These bees will stay dormant in the refrigerator until next spring when they will be sent out to farms all over the United States to pollinate fruit crops that will end up in our grocery stores. By hosting bees in your backyard, you can boost native bee populations and help local farmers by growing more pollinators.